Hey, what's going on, Saints? God bless you. This is Brother Brian. Love has a name YouTube channel. Welcome back. And I just wanted to mention that uh, before we get into a very cool prophetic word, um, on the last video that I used, I actually used what I recently ordered from Amazon. And uh, I wanted to try out some, not, some wireless uh, mics. And so even though... Uh, even when I played this back, I could hear it. It was a little bit muffled. It wasn't as great from my understanding. These are wireless, but they're not they're not Bluetooth. Um, I guess I don't really know how that works. Perhaps I should try someone, some that are Bluetooth so that the connection will possibly be better. Uh, for example, the headphones, the over-the-ear headphones that has a built-in mic, that's Bluetooth. And very few times that I've recorded with it, the sound seems to be just as great as what you're hearing now. Obviously, I'm using the normal mic, the one that is plugged uh, plugged in. I just have it down here right now. I don't have it on my shirt, but it. Um, I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and use the one I've always been using uh, for the most part. <coughs> but hey, here and there, I like to experiment and just see if I can try to make things a little bit easier in case I ever have to do anything where I, I want to walk around, especially, you know, if I'm on a vacation or something, uh, just to give me a little bit more freedom and not have to worry, uh, rather, let me choose my words carefully, not have to um, take care of, uh, or rather be aware of not getting tangled with the cord and whatnot. So I'll say it like that. <clears throat> All right. Well, the prophetic word I'm going to share with you today is a uh, Lana Vasser prophetic word. It is dated March 30th, 2023. She has had some for April, which we will be doing in order. That's my plan, at least. And today is Thursday, May 4th, 2023. Uh, things have been going well. Um, I'm definitely feeling better from uh, all the injuries I went through last year. Part of the um, part of my trials, I guess you could say. And so today <clears throat> I've been walking almost 100%. And so I'm just waiting for my, my um, that little stub toe incident to just finish off. It's only been four days, but hey, getting through it. Amen. With the, by the grace of God and thank you all for your prayers and so forth. Um, so I hope you, do, you are doing better. Uh, this word, I just skimmed it and it looks like it's going to be powerful it involves an encounter with the lord jesus as lana Vosser has many amen this one is called i heard the lord's voice thundering increase and that word increase was in quotes the lord was thundering that word increase amen so let's pray let's invite the lord let's read and hear what the father has to say to us to encourage us because we are in the month of May, the May that the Lord has been impressing in my spirit just days before May began. I shared this on my telegram. Uh, so I did say it before and the Lord was impressing upon me, among other things, the word mega. M-E-G-A. Mega. The Lord was impressing that word. Amazingly, I have already seen three news three um i guess you could say videos news news articles two of them i watched one i didn't but the word mega was used and that is not exactly that's not exactly a common word that is used all the time but the lord is already bringing forth the manifestation the fulfillment of the word confirming to me that yes indeed the lord is saying to pay attention to the word mega from this month, May 2023, onward, I would say. Amen. We give the Lord glory. I absolutely give him glory. And I thank him for the encouragement and for the confirmation in what he's speaking. Amen. There have been a few other things that he has kind of been impressing upon me. And so uh, I will be sharing that very, very soon. Amen. All right. So let's pray. Father. Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, <clears throat> we love you. We give you glory. We thank you. We thank you. We give you thanks. We fill 
the atmosphere with the overflow of the gratitude in our hearts, Lord, because you are good to us. So, so good and so much better than we deserve, Lord. That is your grace and your mercy, new every day for us. Your goodness leads us to repentance, Lord. I thank you for how you do this in my life, how you do this in the life of all your people, and you even do this in the lives of those who do not yet, have not yet given their lives to you. Your goodness, Lord. Thank you for your goodness. We give you all the praise and the glory for this word we're going to read and receive. May your people be touched. May they be edified. May they be strengthened. May, be, may they be encouraged, uplifted, and revitalized in the spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Lana Vosser, March 30th, 2023. This is what she says. Recently, I had an encounter with the Lord, and I saw Jesus walking through what looked like a land that fire had ravaged. I watched as Jesus walked through this land. The ground looked burnt in some areas. There was dryness in other areas. There was barrenness in other areas. As I looked around, the sense of ruin surrounded me strongly. Ooh, this is awesome. I remember the last time I shared a lawn about the prophetic word, the Lord, the Holy Spirit began to highlight to me the way that Lana Bazar describes the communication she was receiving from the Father, from the Lord, from the Holy Spirit. And so I want to point it out because we are here to learn, not just hear prophetic words. It does not do us any good if we don't learn to grow in our relationship with Christ. If we don't learn the ways the Lord speaks, then we won't know um, all the ways that he is communicating with us. And if we don't know what he's saying, how can we follow if we don't have his leading and his guiding and his words? Amen. So here she's saying, uh, where was I? Yes, she said, the sense, okay, so this is a spiritual sensation of ruin surrounded me strongly. So notice she didn't say it was in me, in her. She didn't say she felt it on her. She didn't say she felt it come up in her. These are all different ways the Holy Spirit can manifest. She didn't say she heard the Lord say it. She didn't say she saw it. She said the sense. Okay, so it's a spiritual feeling. And she said it surrounded her strongly. So it was around her. I mean, I think this is fascinating. I just love how the Lord is so creative in everything. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. As I looked around, the sense of ruin surrounded me strongly. There was a strong sense of the intensity of the hardship of the seasons that had been walked. Okay, there's another thing she was sensing. Oh, thank you, Lord. So she was sensing two things so far. Ruin, and she was sensing the intensity. So it's another level there. We know the Lord works in levels and layers. Another level of ha the hardship of the season that had been walked. And many were left feeling disoriented and carrying the weight of the hard season. My God. If that's you, just say in the comments, that's me. Just say, that's me. I've been, f just say, I've been feeling the hard season, or I've been going through a hard season, okay? Make sure you say going through, okay? Even though you're, you are participating in letting me know as I'm asking, you don't want to say it in a victim mentality type way. You don't want to say it in a pity party uh, perspective uh, type of way, amen? Uh, and I say this to encourage you all, you know, a few weeks ago I was having attacks on my mind and emotions as well, and I had no one to encourage me other than reading the comments from you all on YouTube and Telegram. And many of you don't even know, but I try my best to reply when I feel a specific encouragement, I try to reply to let you know, because what you say matters, and I want you to know that. Amen? Praise be to the Lord. Many 
were left feeling disoriented in carrying the weight of the hard season. The feeling of disorientation was really strong in this encounter. Oof. As I watched Jesus walking through this land, I noticed in his hand, he had a pen. He had a pen, I just happen to have one here. <laughs> Here's a prop. He had a pen and a clipboard, which I don't have here. As Jesus was walking through, he was looking at all the different areas of dryness. Areas where the land had been burnt by fire and the disorientation. I thought to myself, oh, he's assessing the damage that has been done. But suddenly the Holy Spirit began speaking to me. Whoa. Lana. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Lana, I have been taking note of the damage and the hardship of the season and seasons many of my people have walked through. I have been with them. I have been close to them. And I have been carrying them, strengthening them and ministering to them in the midst of the intensity they have walked on many levels. My hand is upon their hearts bringing healing to the places of grief, pain, trauma, and disorientation. My breath is lifting off the heaviness and despair that has attempted to steal their breath and life from them. But Lana, what I am actually doing here right now is I am taking note, but I am taking note of the increase that is being added to their life. I am calculating increase, that's in all caps, to be poured into their lives. Where the enemy has come to steal, kill, and destroy. Where the enemy, thank you Holy Spirit, where the enemy has come and attempted to knock them down and take them out, I am here to now add more increase to their lives than they have ever known. Oh, thank you, Lord. My God, I just got to stop here and say, Lord, I receive this word. I bind this word to myself and I engage with it, Lord. I speak the words that I receive it. I am in agreement and I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I want to speak over myself just because of the different physical injuries I have gone through, of the different testings, Lord, that I shall be strengthened with mighty increase from you. And I'm saying this for myself before the people, and I pray the people are saying it for themselves as well. I claim this, Lord. Added strength, added physical health, vitality inner strength in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. I am here to rebuild the ruins in greater increase than ever before. The enemy thought he could attack and attempt to break down and wipe out. But his attack has positioned them for increase and a demonstration of me turning what the enemy meant for their harm, for their good. And in the greatest demonstration of power that they oh, have ever seen. Thank you, God. Oh, my Lord. That sounds like backfire to me, doesn't it? Hallelujah. That sounds like a, a, a rapid reaping of what the enemy meant for evil, the Lord turning it and using it against him by blessing us with increase. Thank you, God. Now Lana says, <clears throat> I was overwhelmed by the Lord's heart for his people. The enemy may come to steal, kill, and destroy, but the Lord turns all things for good. And this is the hour where he is positioning these ones for double recompense. Lord, I receive that. And a level of increase they have not yet known. As the Lord continued to write on his clipboard, I looked onto the paper he was writing on, and I saw the word increase in large letters. But then suddenly my vision was taking deeper 
into that piece of paper. Whoa, that is cool. Deeper into that piece of paper. See that? In the natural, people would hear that. Intellectuals, right? Carnal Christians, baby Christians, they'll, they'll hear that. And they'll just say, that doesn't make any sense. Duh, it doesn't make any sense to the natural mind. It's spiritual. And 1 Corinthians chapter 2. The spiritual things must be discerned. Can only be discerned spiritually. Which means we need the Holy Spirit yielding, submitting, surrendering to the Holy Spirit. Which requires faith. Which requires trust which require, requires leaning not on our own understanding, which requires laying our life down, which requires that we decrease, which requires that we say no to our ways and yes to his ways in order to receive the leading of the Holy Spirit to where he can bring understanding. And so, whew, she says, my vision was taken deeper into that piece of paper. I could still see the word increase, but it was like this piece of paper became a well that I could see deep into. Ooh. As I looked into the depths of it, I saw blueprints. These blueprints looked like plans for building a house, and this house was huge. There were detailed instructions of how to build this house. The Lord then spoke again. What many of my people have walked through, many long, hard seasons, and especially this last and current season, it has left them feeling disoriented. Many have felt like they have lost their vision or their vision was blurred. Many have felt like they have lost their voice. Many have felt like the intensity of the season has shaken their confidence in what I have spoken and especially come against the assignments I have called them to and the anointings upon their lives. I am now breaking this heavy disorientation and I am taking these ones deep into the wells of encounter with me such a deep encounter deeper than they have known and not only am i going to reinstate their confidence in who they are in me again i am going to clarify their assignments again but not only am i going to clarify their assignments again i am expanding their vision oh thank you lord yes thank you lord thank you lord Hallelujah. Oof. I am expanding their vision and the assignment to build with me in greater ways. There is a mighty increase upon them. They are going to build with me in such incredible ways and increase. These assignments and the and things I will have them build with me in this hour will house my glory. It will make sense in very clear ways to these ones in this hour why the enemy came so hard against them. The weight of my glory that will be housed in what I have them build will make it very clear why the enemy came in such ferocity to take them out. Many of these precious ones are pioneers. Oof, my God. Another word for pioneer is a similar word, forerunner. Uh, there's another one. Yes, thank you, Lord. Trailblazers. Amen? See, sometimes when I don't remember something, I'll start praying in tongues. The Holy Spirit will, will draw it up. Because the Holy Spirit, as you're praying in tongues, seeks the mind of God. It goes out seeking the, if I can say it this way, the data the knowledge, the wisdom, the revelation. And because I yield and depend on the Holy Spirit, he draws it out. And all of a sudden, boom, brings it unto the soul where the mind is to where I can vocalize it to 
you. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, praying, praying in tongues is powerful. So many benefits. <clears throat> many of these precious ones are pioneers. They have been forging the way forward. The journey has been hard. The price has been high, but it is nothing compared to the manifestation of my glory that will be in their midst. They have been forging the way for me, the King of glory. Now, here I come. Oh my Lord. They have been forging the way for me, the King of glory, to come in. Sorry, I don't think I said that. Hmm. I think there's a loud car. If there's a humming sound or whatever, I think it's a loud car in the in the um, in the parking lot or whatnot. Sorry about that. All right, let's continue. We have uh, one small section to go. The Lord says these precious ones will not be left in wanting. They will not be left in grief and loss. The enemy is screaming to many of these ones to give up, and that they are dying. But these are lies. I am decreeing this, that this is their time to thrive in me. I am restoring all. Oof. This is their time to move into significant increase, recompense incredible heavenly provision, an increase of anointing, the intense pressing that has brought forth a precious oil. My God, somebody was saying that to me. And I definitely felt pressed on all sides two weeks ago. I felt like I was being jumped in the spirit, just relentlessly attacked. Whoo, glory, glory. The intense pressing has brought forth precious oil. Now, that heavenly, that heavenly oil will flow forth. I am raising them up in this hour stronger than ever before. Stronger than before. My trailblazers, oh, confirmation on the word, hallelujah. My trailblazers, and oh, the glory of my presence that shall be in their midst and shall fill the earth. It is time to arise and shine, for your light has come and my glory is rising upon you whoa 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 that is the word hallelujah <sighs> don't you just love the special anointing and presence of god on these words the lord gives lana Vasser. love it visions hearing the lord sensing things in the spirit encounters in the spirit powerful 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 I think we need to make a decree before we close here. There are things the Lord was speaking here. I felt like I needed to say it and I didn't say it, but let me just see this here. All right, let's just make it simple. In very simple words, let's make this decree over ourselves. As I say it, just say it for yourself. There is mighty increase coming upon me now in the name of Jesus. I receive this increase by faith, and I thank you, Lord. I receive recompense, incredible heavenly provision, and increase of anointing. I choose to yield to you, God, so that I may be raised up according to your will and purpose as a pioneer, trailblazer, in the spirit for your glory. I receive all you have for me. Whatever my heavenly books say, according to Psalm 139, 16, whatever that says about me, 
which you wrote before I was even created, I say, yes, I agree with you, almighty God and Father. I trust you. And glory days are now, and glory days are ahead for me. For your goodness and your mercy, follow me. And your favor chases me down. <laughs> and I give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh man, I know I'm feeling better just, just speaking that. I pray you participated. I pray you felt a change, maybe even a shift. If there's something you felt you experienced through the Lord, through this video, testify down below in the comments. I would love to hear it. Praise the Lord. And you know what? I don't want to make this video way uh, too long, but I will say this. Krista Elisha was on Elijah's dreams this day. So I'm sorry, not this day. This week, yesterday, uh, Wednesday, May 3rd. You have absolutely got to watch that episode. Go to Rumble. Um, or if you want to go to Fakebook, you can watch it there. <laughs> that there was tremendous, tremendous encouragement through Krishna Elisha. The Lord was speaking to her so much of what we are going through. I gotta tell you, when I was listening to it, my soul was like crying. Now, that sounds weird because I didn't actually have tears, but my soul was like leaping, leaping because what God was speaking to her was so comforting and so encouraging to know, to just hear that the Lord is acknowledging and well aware of the intense warfare so many of us have gone through. And so you also know that you're not alone. I mean, for me to hear Chris Elisha said that she's been going through it and other people too. Of course, I'm not happy that they're going through it, but I didn't feel as alone. It happens. We're not perfect. I'm not perfect. And it's so wonderful. That's why the Lord uses so many vessels. Oh, thank you, Lord. And he embraces us. So this, this uh, episode of Chris Elisha on Elijah Streams will absolutely encourage you. Amen. So go ahead and go check it out. Um, whether you do that on the app or uh, I guess on Facebook, you can look it up. I don't use Facebook, so... Um, I can't really say, I don't really know if it's still on there or how that works, but I know it's on Rumble for sure. Amen. So go ahead and do that. Um, also, if you want to stay up to date with prophetic news and stuff that's going on, join my Telegram channel. Link is in the description below. And um, what else? Yes, if you like any, if you want to see any cool Kingdom merch that I've created, um, I know I haven't had, uh, it's been a while since I've created anything new, but there are at least 33 to 34 designs, if I'm not mistaken. This uh, shirt here is one of them. You can get this on a variety of stuff, such as um, coasters and clocks and uh, home decor, pillows, uh, hoodies, shirts, baby clothes, leggings, uh, tumblers, coffee mugs, just a lot of stuff, amen? So uh, check it out and uh, perhaps you'll find something you like, amen? So, I think that's really all. Don't forget to follow Lana Vosser's um, ministry. The description will have that information. As always, we honor the prophets here. There is such great power in what you honor. Amen? So, all, we honor the Lord and we honor the servants who walk in the fear of the Lord with humility, with great passion, and with truth. But they walk in the supernatural because their obedience reaps the manifestation and the experiential knowledge of the life that Christ died to give us. With the word as the foundation, but not as, not as the, um, the extent of the life. We're supposed to live out the word. We're supposed to experience 
experience the word. Not just read it and that's it. No, experience. That includes visions, dreams, encounters, time travel, caught up in the heavens, hearing the Lord, feeling the Lord, smelling the Lord, and just so many other things. This is for all believers, but you can't enter into what you don't know about. And you you can't enter into something you are choosing not to believe in because faith is the door. Faith gives you the access, sorry, faith is the access into that realm. And so, anyway, that's that. God bless you. Love you all. Um, I will be back tomorrow, Friday, and uh, I haven't decided yet if I will do a Hank Kuhneman or an Amanda Grace prophetic word, but more than likely, um, Friday, Saturday, I'll probably handle, I'll take care of both of those. So make sure you're subscribed, hit subscribe now, turn your notification bells on, hit the like button, leave a couple comments, and I bless you in the name of Jesus. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.